Budget cuts hit home in the Wabash Valley tonight. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. The Southwest School Board in Sullivan County, Indiana, voted to eliminate eight teaching positions. An action school officials say had to be made. In tonight's Education Watch 10, Dan Klein joins us now live in the studio with more on that decision. Dan? Patrice, Mark, the school board decided that four teachers who are retiring will not be replaced, but four or more teachers will be laid off this summer. Four names, four victims of budget cuts. No discussion. With four votes, the deed is done. It's kind of depressing. Among the 65 or so who showed up, Jennifer Simpson is the only casualty. She's been employed with the school corporation for five years, but only one that counts when it comes to seniority as a fourth grade teacher at Carlisle Elementary. You hear, there, hear that it's going to happen and that it might happen, but you always have that hope that it's not going to. And tonight's just really kind of the gauntlets fall. What would you do? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> School officials say the job cuts are a last resort, but with a budget cut of almost 5%, totaling more than $500,000, it had to be done. Cutting your staff and your uh, programs for kids is always the last thing you want to do, and we've held off as long as we could. Superintendent Hoke says the eight jobs being eliminated will have the least effect on students. One parent expressed her concern, though, about next year's class sizes. My daughter's falling behind. My concern is for next year, how are we going to keep those children from falling even further behind? But different worries for Simpson, whose husband recently lost his job as well. We're both kind of struggling right now for work, but it'll work out. God will take care of us. Superintendent Hoke says if more teachers decide to retire, it's possible some of the four teachers, like Simpson, could get rehired. Back to you. Thank you, Dan. Tonight, the school board also announced an agreement to give a 1% salary bonus to faculty and staff. Members say it was negotiated with the teachers' union. The cost is estimated at $65,000. It will come from the rainy day fund. 